Throughout the pandemic, there have been supply shortages for nearly everything. And now, thanks to a global shipping crisis and labor shortages, retailers are worried about something else, which could affect your Christmas list. New Center Maine's Rosalind Flaherty explains why you might want to start holiday shopping sooner rather than later. A toy store is every kid's dream, but it may be harder to find certain toys this holiday season. Having some issues getting the usual shipments and products that we're expecting to come in. Emily Drappy owns Island Treasure Toys in Yarmouth. She says it's been hard to get certain products due to supply shortages ever since the pandemic began. She says it's been even harder recently with only 40% of what she's ordering making it to the store. Seeing some things getting stuck in in limbo, like not coming from the ports or not coming um, from our different vendors, but um, yeah, it's it's definitely a concern. Leo Menard is the Toys for Tots coordinator for Northern York County. He says he has also heard about the lack of products. If there's going to be a shortage, we're not going to be able to go purchase until three weeks before Christmas. So he's starting to plan ahead. We have the money now to um, buy toys and fill our warehouse up so that if there is a shortage, the people that come to pick up toys for their kids will never know it. It's what Drappy is doing to stock her shelves too. I'm placing orders that are now like three or four times bigger, trying to get ahead of it by just ordering up, ordering early, and just making sure we have a good inventory going into the season. She advises people to start shopping now and to have kids start making lists in case Santa also has a hard time finding something. In Yarmouth, Rosalind Flaherty, New Center, Maine. If you can find toys, chances are they'll be more expensive this year. Major brands Mattel and Hasbro have reported they're raising prices this year to make up for higher shipping costs.